Well, good evening, my friends, and happy Thursday. It is Vlogmas Day 14, and I hope you're all doing well. I admit we are starting this vlog a little bit later on in the day because today we have thankfully gotten through another hot day here in Sydney. The temperatures today got just to about 40 degrees, which is hot and pretty unbearable outside, so I just sort of took majority of the afternoon just to chill and relax. But this morning, Graham and I were out and about early. We left the house before the heat set in to do a little bit of Christmas shopping. I did film a little bit of it, so I'll pop a little bit of the footage that I got in here for you to see. Although I did buy a few Christmas presents for people, I did actually buy myself a couple of things. I'll quickly show you what I got. Although I do have a very full bookshelf of books that uh, need to be read, I bought myself a new book and it's uh, this one called Fourth Wing by Rebecca Yaros. Everyone's raving about this book, saying that it's really, really good. I know that the, the next book, Iron Flame, I think it's called, has come out and people are saying it's really good. So I thought I'd I jump on the bandwagon and give it a read over the summer and see what it's like. But people are saying it's really good, so may as well give it a go. And the other thing I bought myself was just a new notebook. It's a Kath Kidson notebook. I got this from TK Maxx. It was $15 and I thought it was pretty good for a Kath Kidson thing. And it's a notebook that's actually cloth bound, which I think for $15 is pretty good. And it's pretty hefty too, like there's a lot of pages in that. So I'll add that to my notebook collection and have it handy when I need a new notebook. So I'm obviously thinking that you've read the title of this video. It is just a little spotlight haul. But before I show you a few other things that I got, I just want to let you know that I am drinking one of my advent teas. This one is the tummy tea that I opened a couple of days ago. It's a, just a peppermint tea with the licorice root in it. I don't know whether that's going to make any difference, but the aroma just smells like just a normal peppermint tea. So I'm going to give you a live taste test, give you my honest opinion to what it tastes like. It is still quite hot, so I'm just going to take a little sip so I don't like burn myself. Oh, it's really hot. Do you see my glasses just fog up? Okay. Okay. Oh, okay. It tastes like it has a peppermint taste, but then also an aftertaste of like aniseed type vibe. It's not like a full on intense licorice taste, but that aniseedy kind of taste coating your tongue. Oh, I'm not, I'm not the biggest fan of the aftertaste because the aftertaste is that aniseed flavor and I don't like the licorice taste at all. It's nice. I don't think I'd actually buy more of it. But I'll possibly finish the cup because I have a caramello koala from my advent calendar to eat. And, you know, I love to have chocolate with a cup of tea. As you would have seen from the video with Graham yesterday. Everything pairs well with a cup of tea, I say. Right, let's move on to a little spotlight haul. I have a bag here full of lots of different little things. Spotlight always has big sales on. And I have a project that I want to do next week in the lead up to Christmas. And I didn't have any fabric for it, so I had to do a little purchase. And to get free shipping, I had to spend a certain amount, and so I did that, you know. You know the way that these companies do these things. Spend so much and then get free shipping, I get sucked in all the time. So let's have a look and see what we've got. First of all, I bought a new little Christmas bath mat. If you're new to the channel, then you might not know that we had our main bathroom refurbished, redone. It's all new, so it looks very like nice and fancy. So I thought I'd buy a new little Christmas bath mat to go in our newish bathroom now. I mean, it's over a year old. Do you still say that it's new? I don't know. I'll quickly open it and show you what it looks like. I mean, it just looks like that in the picture, but let's actually see what it really looks like. Ta-da! Oh, it looks so cool. I love the color. And of course, I love the Christmas trees. Very nice. Are we at a point that I need to turn this light on? I'm not sure. I do have the Christmas lights on. They flash colours, so hopefully it's not affecting things. 
my apologies if it is. The other Christmas thing I got was this beautiful fat quarter bundle with all pink Christmas fabrics. If you've seen my improv Christmas tree block video, then you'll see that I am making some beautiful little improv trees using pink fabric. So I specifically got this to sort of maybe do some more of those trees out of this fabric. We got one with stars, one with little lights, little stockings. Oh, that one with the holly. This one with the trees. One with a little snowman. And then this one with the candy canes. So sweet. I love these. So, so cool. Next up is a pair of scissors. All of the scissors that I use in my sewing room are Fiskars. I love Fiskars. They're such a great brand. Even all of my rotary blades are Fiskars as well. When I worked at Spotlight, I always recommended Fiskars above everything else because they're just really great quality, good price for the quality, and I have been in need for a new pair of curved scissors for when I do machine embroidery. So I thought I'd give these ones a go. These ones are, do they have a size? Number four. And they're just a curved scissor. So they've got that nice little curve uh, blade there so you don't cut into your embroidery work when you're cutting off all your threads and things. So I'm excited to see how well they work. I really do hope they're good. I hope the quality hasn't slipped, otherwise I'd be very sad. I got some paper patterns, because their patterns were 50% off. Or were they? Yeah, 50% off. The first one is the Simplicity one, and it's S9136, and it's just a really simple dress with raglan sleeves. So you can either have ones that are just quarter length or three quarter length. And I like that it's a dress that goes to the knee with an option of pockets. And I was looking at the fabrics you can use for this. You can use cotton and cotton types and you can also use knits. So that would be interesting to do that in either fabric and see how well either one sort of works. And then the other pattern is a butterick. It is B6873 and it's just a pattern for a wrap dress. I quite like this one with the ruffle and the three quarter sleeves as well. I just liked how that there were a couple of differences they sort of mix and match with. And this one is for cottons and rayons. I'm excited about these. Next up is the fabric that I bought for my hopefully new Christmas dress that I will be wearing on Christmas Day. Talking about wrap dresses, there's actually a pattern that I have been coveting for ages and I thought no I'm gonna make that for Christmas and be really nice and cool and swishy in. It's a pattern by Closet Core I think. Let me just find it and I'll show you. The wrap dress that I'm gonna make is by Closet Core Patterns and the pattern is called the Elodie Wrap Dress. That's this one. I quite like the length I like the, oh that's the really long version. I quite like this sort of midi length uh, version of it. I like how the sleeves are sort of like nice and flowy and it's labelled as a intermediate beginner. Now I'm pretty confident with dressmaking so I would definitely feel comfortable making this. So with that pattern I'm going to make a dress out of this beautiful printed rayon. This particular print is called Native Flowers if you are interested. So I got about five meters of it because I want it to be really nice and flowy and I'm always scared of running out of fabric so I always go like half to a meter more than what I really need. I know that's pretty wasteful but I just I just want security to know that I definitely have enough fabric. I really feel like these neutral sort of colors really suit my skin tone. And yeah I just wanted something just just really nice and lovely and florally. And the last thing that I got is just really boring. It's the lightweight interfacing that I need <laughs> to be able to put in the dress. So the one that I purchased is by Birch. It's the Shape to Create and it's the fusible interfacing it's non-woven and it's an iron-on. Well, that's what fusible means, so yeah. And I just got a couple of meters of that so I can also add it to my stash and use it on another day as well. So that's just my little spotlight haul. I haven't done a spotlight haul in ages. When I used to work at Spotlight, I would be doing spotlight hauls like every week. I'm going to quickly do the advent calendar because the light is fading and I want to drink my tea and eat my chocolate. <laughs> Okay, let's do the advent calendar and see what delicious tea we have today. We are looking for door. 14. Oh, this advent calendar is so awkward. Door 14 is here and it says, have a laugh. Let's see what we've got. This one. Oh, it's a beautiful dark purple. 
Today's tea says, wherever life takes you, bring tea. This one is a flavoured black tea and it is Go Go Goa. Climb aboard a rickshaw and hit the buzzing streets of Goa. This playful blend boasts a biscuity sweetness that will keep you on the go-go. Enjoy with milk and honey. <gasps> Ooh. So this one's black tea, cinnamon, cardamom, ginger, orange peel, pink pepper, natural and artificial flavoring. So I wonder if this is going to be like a fruity, spicy sort of biscuit taste. I am I'm interested in what this is going to be. Okay, my friends, well, thank you very much for joining me today. I do hope you're all having a lovely Thursday, wherever you are in the world. And I will see you all again tomorrow for Vlogmas Day 15. Bye-bye.